So I'm continuing on to open up a case of the Pathfinder Battles Skull and Shackles pre-painted plastic figure. This is going to be brick number three. And uh, if you don't really want to watch the unboxing and you just want to see the figures that come out of the case, if you just want to see the figures that come out of the case, I will be doing a video at the end to kind of summarize what was in the case and I'll show all the figures and kind of the distribution you get of each of the different varieties and uh, you know how many of each common I get, uncommon or rare. But this is going to be brick number three here. I'll also be showing a uh, I'll also be showing the large dragon in the uh, summary video. So we start out with box number one. So I've yet to get one of these and this is an uncommon figure here. This is a giant wasp. You see, they tend to do a pretty good job on the large figures and the rare figures. Some nice shading, some clear transparent wings. It's a nice evil look to the head. We have uh, a rare, an uncommon, and a common here. If it will focus for me. So we have a greater host devil. So you need several of those in the adventure path, and if you were running an encounter, you'd probably have several of those anyway. I believe this is an Arm Vorax. They call it a Golden Guardian, and it is a rare. In the adventure path, you need two of those in an encounter. I don't know how many you would normally use uh, in a standard encounter. And then we have a repeat of a... Uh, NPC adversary from the adventure, one of the adventures, and that's uh, Admiral Thrun. She's a Chellis naval officer. As you can see, she could be doubled up as an NPC, or you know, you could have a couple of those, make just a couple of pirates or naval uh, characters in an adventure. We've got box number two here. This is the second great wild, great white style shark that I've gotten out of the case. I have uh, four sharks in total, so this will make two great whites and two hammerheads. You can see it's a large figure. And then we have a couple of commons and uncommon here. So we have the Sea Devil Champion. Now, I've yet to get any Sea Devils out of the case, so that's a common figure. We have a Lady Ghoul, and that's another common. And then we have a NPC ally from the adventure, and that's Tessa Fairwind. She's kind of a pirate captain out of the adventure. Let's see. They don't do a great job on the faces in these, but let's see. Uh, So that is a couple of uncommons and a couple of commons in that pack. We got pack number three here. So I've got a repeat of an aquatic naga. I believe you only encounter one of those in the adventure path. But I know other adventure paths and other adventures from Paizo have multiple aquatic nagas, so this is the first one to have a figure for, I believe. It is a large base figure, it is an uncommon. And then we're going to have, looks like, uh, an uncommon and a couple of 
commons here. We have a rat swarm and a pirate sailor. Smuggler, rather. So a couple of commons you'd probably need multiple of for encounters. And then this is one of the pirate captains from the adventure path. And it's Kyrdak Bone Fist. So that's a repeat on him. Just uh, some of the more unique characters. It's one of the drawbacks to the Pathfinder battles you get. Instead of them being rare and getting just one, they make them uncommon and you end up getting multiples of them. I wish they would change their distribution on that a little, but the uh, way they got it working now, you almost always get at least one of everything, so can't complain too much about it. Of course, I get the same aquatic naga that I just got from the previous pack in the same brick. Can't say I'm happy about that. But uh, I do get another Greater Host Devil. And that's a common. It's a good repeat, though. We have Isabella Locke here. And she's another pirate adversary from the uh, Adventure Path. So that's the uh, first one of those I've gotten. And this is another repeat of uh, an uncommon. So both of those are uncommon. Or actually, Isabella Locke is a rare. Sought out gold tooth is an uncommon, and he's an half orc pirate. You only need one for the actual skull and shackles adventure path, but if you wanted multiple half orc kind of swashbuckler pirate adversaries, you could reuse them there. So it's a rare, two uncommons, and a common in that pack. Just a bad repeat on the big figure. It's the third one out of the case. There's other large figures I'd much rather have multiples of than the Naga. It's just a personal preference. So this is pack number five. So we have another sea cat here. And this is an uncommon. I don't know how many large rares you get. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You only get seven large rares, so you're going to get quite a few repeats on the uncommon larges. And then we have a rare. This is one of their iconics here. This is Celtiel, the Half Elf Magus. He doesn't factor into the adventure path. He's They usually put a couple of their iconic characters in there. So that would be good use for a PC. We have another Rat Swarm, a good repeat. And then we have another NPC repeat for an Uncommon, and this is Aranax Endymion, but he has just kind of a generic officer look to him, so that's not necessarily a bad repeat. The, uh, those Sea Cats would be good to use for a Bunyip. Also, another Seal-type monster. So here is one of the rare larges, and this is the Captain Riptooth, the Were Shark Pirate Captain. The other Were Sharks are on uh, medium bases, but he's on a big base. Let's see if we can get a better look at him. Let's see. So I think somebody commented that uh, the figure's nice, except for how do they see forward? You know, the way their heads cocked up. You know, do they have to lean over when they're going at somebody? So that's a good pack there. We have a repeat on an NPC Naga, Salissa, and she's on a medium base. And then we have a couple of commons here. This is the first Sea Devil I've gotten out of the case, which is a little disappointing because it's a common and it's a Sahogin. I'm not sure how you pronounce the actual creature's name. They call it a Sea Devil in the Adventure. And you have a were rat, so those are a couple of good commons. Even though I've got a couple of were rats already, you usually encounter them in a group, so it's a good pack. There together, good repeats in it. Well, the Salissa isn't great, but you can always use it as a snake or something else. It's pack number seven here. So we 
going to get another shark. This is a hammerhead shark. We've got two of those already, so it's five sharks total out of the case, which is good because you're going to have uh, quite a few sharks to encounter, and I do believe you're going to get there may be actual encounter with five sharks in it. And then our small figures in the pack, we're going to get another were shark pirate, which is a good repeat, another blood bug, another good repeat, and another NPC name character that's a repeat, Lucaria. She's kind of a witch cultist looking thing. Could always use that as a just a common cultist or other kind of uh, character. A decent pack. And the last pack out of brick three. care for this large that's in here. It's a Shimmera. Shimmeray. I don't know if that's a play on a Chimera or a Chimera. It's kind of a cat thing with snakes growing out of its back. I really don't like the aesthetic of that monster. I think you encounter one of them in an adventure path, so. But you're going to get lots of uncommon larges, because there's, like I said earlier, there's only seven rare larges, so that's a Shimmeray. And then we're going to have some a couple of nice repeat commons here. You're going to get another were rat, and another pirate sailor, and then you're going to get another kinku or a bird creature. And it's jackdaw razor beak, but it's a nice PC figure, or you could even use multiples of them. Even though it's a named NPC, it has a nice, a more of a generic look to it. So that is everything out of Brick 3 of the case of Pathfinder Battles and I'm opening. I'll be back in the next video with Brick 4.